Hello and uh, welcome to a little video tour for this military watch company MWC Depth Master and there's not a lot of information on the internet about these so I thought uh, we'll run this little video just to uh, give it a description. So um, this comes with uh, an inner carton, an outer carton, there's a bit of packaging, a guarantee card and just simple uh, packaging inside. There are no spare links for the bracelet but uh, most of these are sold on a NATO strap and it does take a 24 millimeter uh, lug width so a 24 mil lug to lug and this one doesn't taper down at all it's a chunky bracelet. It does have quick adjust and it does have double safety security on this bracelet. Now whether or not it's a, um, a bracelet that was supplied by MWC or just something somebody's cobbled together. I bought it second hand. Uh, currently retailing at 365 on the uh, website uh, but it has a helium valve. It sports the Seiko NH35 um, with the date uh, automatic mechanism and it's running at around about uh, minus eight seconds a day that sort of area. Uh, what are we showing now? 50 on my atomic clock there, 54. So, yeah, about, uh, hang on, just about to go over there. Yeah, about 8 to 10 seconds a day. Uh, it can be regulated, but uh, is it worth bother bothering with the, uh, an automatic watch? So, it does have a date window there at um, 4 o'clock in white. And the loom is terrific on this. It's got really great loom. It's supposedly got a ceramic bezel insert. It's got a really positive uh, bezel, to be honest with you, if you hear that. A little bit of uh, bounce back, but nothing much to worry about. Let's just wind that right the way around to 12, and it sits nicely on the 12 o'clock position. I think we're back there. Uh, screw down crown and there's a really nice threaded crown there. Yeah, it does sport hacking. I won't bother to uh, pull her out, but um, anyway, so that threads in. So it sports a sapphire crystal which is domed. So let's just uh, show that and from the rear of the watch to the very top of the dome is just under 18 millimeters but uh, if you take it to just the top of the um, bezel looking about 16 or so it is a big watch it's got some height but it wears okay actually I um, sport only a just sub 17 centimeter wrist there is some uh, quick adjustment there three holes looking at around about just under a centimetre I would have thought but let's uh, grab the calipers a second and see what we've got because obviously it's a big watch I'd imagine if this bracelet won't fit you it's uh, yeah it's about six millimetres of um, quick, quick adjustment there so really just over 17, 17 and a half centimetres is what you're going to expect uh, it's got on the back of here so it's not ISO rated this watch it is just a great big thumping thousand meter accredited uh, 100, 100 atmospheres 3200 uh, 3, uh, feet in German uh, PNR 2011D and yeah water resistance in German 1000 meters so 2011, so quite an early one. It's not doing too bad, uh, but it's 2011 manufacturer date. Um, I think I've got 2012 stamped on the guarantee card, but it's not been worn much. It's really in very nice condition. It's hardly sporting any uh, marks. So it's brushed all the way longitudinally across the case there. There's a nice little chamfer just running across there and good grip on the crown. And there's uh, again brushing in circular format on the 
um, crown there. I've not bothered pressing that helium valve, I've done a really never been uh, mixed air diving or anything like that, so <laughs> it's not really relevant. The bracelet is uh, pretty good order. This is going to bore the pants off of you, but if you're just looking to buy something which is chunky, if you've got bigger wrists, um, you probably lose this bracelet, stick it on a NATO or another 24mm um, strap. And uh, there we go. So the loom is nice. It's a big chunky thing. I'm just going to pop it on my 17 centimeter wrist for those that might have any interest in this video. Probably never, not going to make it to the end. But uh, as you can see, it wears quite uh, high. Surprisingly, actually, it doesn't really feel like a big heavy watch. It's um, about 140 grams. It, uh, it it actually feels and wears okay, but I've lost a fair bit of weight, so it really is uh, struggling now. Before I got, I really need to take a link out and pop the Mac the quick adjust back up to the um, to the full thing. So I actually probably yeah either i'm heading more towards I, I would say 17 and a half centimeters wrist easily on this uh, even with my hands blade out the watch is still a bit wobbly but um there we are that's uh the mwc depth master uh thousand meter water resistance well i wouldn't even wear it in the shower to be honest with you but uh it probably is water resistance but if you wear it in the shower and you complain about it uh miss it up then that's the way it is I'm afraid I wouldn't uh, it not being ISO rated I wouldn't um, wouldn't trust it more of a showpiece to be fair okay thanks for watching looks like the Sun's come out a bit too much now but let's just pop the camera looks like there's anti-reflective on that uh, domed crystal. Anyway, not a real mark on that watch. It's pretty tidy. Thank you.